I just blew my own mind and I want to show you that this workflow using Claude with the new Canva connector is just incredible. This is going to change absolutely how we work. And the best example is what I'm going to show you in a second. I'm Tim Checker, the founder of AR Better. If you're a founder, a marketer, a consultant, a solopreneur, whatever, if you want to ever design something, this video is for you. In the next 10 minutes, I think I'm going to blow your mind because it blew my mind. It's quite easy to blow my mind these days with AI, but you'll see what I mean. Today, I'll cover how I use Claude with the new Canva connector to design a presentation, infographics, slides, whatever you want. Let's go. So here's Claude. In Claude, you're going to make sure you have your Canva connector. Right? So if you want to connect it from scratch, you're going to come in here, add connectors. You're going to make sure you have the Canva connector. As you click on it, you're going to log into your Canva if you have a Canva account, hopefully. Right? You have a bunch more connectors. They're really incredible connectors. I will be diving deep into a lot of them. And the desktop extensions are also very interesting, by the way. But today we're talking about Canva. So you gotta make sure that your Canva integration is on. You can see that it has these tools like search design, get design, get design pages, get design content, search, fetch, blah, 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 export design, create folder, move item, and so on. Very cool, but let's see it in action. I'll even show you the secret sauce here. So what I did is I asked Claude to give me an incredible prompt for Claude with the Canva connector to design a slide deck to present our transformation blueprint a little error and I copy and pasted a bunch of text which is our transformation blueprint it gave me a good prompt we'll take this prompt till here I could have asked it in markdown as well but I'm going to come to a new chat I'm going to paste that I'm going to make sure that my canva connector is on and that all the tools are on and I'm going to launch this let's go Claude I know you'll smash this one out of the water as you can see it's already searching for designs so in Canva, you do have templates, you do have brand kit, but right now the connector can't use those. So you need to have a design that is called a template. This is what I found out. I haven't done that, but even without that, it does an incredible job. So I couldn't find what it searched. So now it's looking for more specific business presentation templates with a focus on transformation and corporate strategy. Perfect, it found an existing AI first transformation presentation template. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I think I potentially had a presentation. Okay, let's allow always for now. Be careful about that. So it found something already. You can read these. Here we go. We got a little error. That's fine. I think it's still working through. Yeah, that's fine. Let's allow it. Okay, it's looking at the content of that presentation. All right, it's getting the pages, get design pages. So I think what I found out that is very important now is to start thinking about templates, docs, and stuff like that. Like I've been showing on my ChatGPT connector video as well on a bunch of stuff. It's all about context engineering. It's all about having already documents and templates and designs, whatever you need available, named properly so that you can find those things in seconds and you can let the AI know where to find them how to use them to do some incredible magic. All right, it's search for presentation. Now it's using Canvas AI design generation feature to create a custom presentation for my AI first transformation blueprint. Let me try a different approach with the design generation. It does get some errors, but it will always keep trying until it gets the job done. And don't forget, this is the worst it's ever going to be, right? Tomorrow's gonna be better. Here we go. It's successfully generated four AI power presentation templates, four of them, not even one crazy. All right. Option one preview. Let's check that out. Let's open that link. Huh? That's a bit ugly. Okay. But I see. Okay. It has some potential. Let's check the others. Let's check preview two. open that link. Okay. All right. Interesting use. Let's see option three. Okay. That's a little bit better i actually could like this one let's see option four option four is nice all right let's see what can we do with these all right i like option three and i like option four i'm gonna click on option three create this design it's gonna open again but this time is not a preview i'm going to cancel opening in the canva platform but i'm gonna say browser instead okay here we go wrong date okay no problem all right, we are getting somewhere embracing AI first transformation. That's cool. We got a few slides, the importance of AI in business, AI revolutionizing industries, 
Explore the major benefits of AI. Okay. Timeline of AI advancements. And thank you. Any questions or thoughts? It's not bad. Let's try option four. Create this design. Let's make sure we open it in the browser. All right. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Let's see. Oh, here we go. Benefits. AI technologies and impact. Pricing. That's quite sad. Customer feedback. Get in touch. It's okay. All right. Let's try something else. I tried something a little bit simpler now. As a design on Canva LinkedIn carousel with the AR better branding on our five step framework. I've added our five step framework here as text. I'm not getting a prompt this time. I'm trying something else. I looked at these previews, didn't like them much. So I said, you didn't use the brand kit inside Canva for AI operator. One page of design is not a carousel. You didn't use the AI transformation blueprint neither. So it can't find the kit. That's what I realized. It can search, get design, but there is no brand kit finding. But I got a few nice options. I really liked this option, option four. I quite like this option. It's simple. It's good. All right. I clicked on create this carousel. I've let it continue in the browser instead. Oh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, this is good. But it's not a carousel, or it could be a carousel, but it's a presentation. Okay, upskilling, that's good. Incentives, that's good. Resources, this is really good. Yeah, okay, this is cool. I know it can't access the brand kits, so what I'll do is I'll come in here, I'll just change some of the backgrounds. I'm just in a minute going to make this a little bit more us. All right, I'm gonna stick a logo here. Let's stick that logo here somewhere. That's cool. I'm not a designer, by the way, at all. Just acting like a designer. I'm vibe designing. Here we go. Okay, incredible. I could change this with something that I would say. I might shorten these, bullet point these. Now I could use the Canva AI if I wanted. Magic rewrite, shorten it. It's a bit better, I, but I prefer bullet points, but I could work on that. And I literally have a presentation. Of course, if I had my templates really defined well and I call them presentation template, carousel template as designs and not just as brand kit or templates, I think I could get very far with this. Wow, you just saw Claude using the Canva connector to create seven slide deck inside Canva. In a minute, I was able to brand it, but I'm sure with the right presentation templates already as design files, I could get even faster. This is just literally scratching the surface of what's possible. And I'm not waiting for perfection, guys. This is just mind blowing already. We're really starting this era of taking actions on different applications with our large language models, like with Claude or with ChatGPT agent, which I have another video about that. I'm very impressed. I hope you are. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications, invite friends, family members, and colleagues. I'm sharing free information on how I run my business with AI and the things that I test and what's possible and what's not possible. It's now your responsibility to watch these and learn all the stuff because it's incredible at the speed that we're moving. But again, I'm here to simplify these things for you. I'm Tim Checker, founder of AI Operator. Let me know in the comments, how would you use this? Do you have any design that you're going to go try? And if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate. I answer all the comments. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.